see. Just got back from the record store a little while ago. Well, I guess I got back from the record store a little while ago. I can't say I just got back a little while ago. That's weird. So anyways, I was like, I t are there some two records that I knew I needed to get? And one was lingering. And then I seen that they actually only did a limited edition of this. Okay, now I'm just like full for like color here. Let's see if I got fluffy hair syndrome. All right, so let's just show it. Let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. Boom, Liquid Tension Experiment 3. Now, I'm not the biggest Dream Theater fan, but I'm a guitar player. I love Shred every now and then. you got to be in the mood for it. But if you're into Guitar Shred, I highly recommend this, because this album, I, look, go just listen to it, and you're going to want to get it on vinyl. Now, I didn't know this, but they had a limited edition just to indie stores where it was on translucent orange. And I was like, oh, that's pretty rad, actually. It was only $4 more. So... This is the last copy at the record store on Translucent Orange. All the red, all the other ones were just... Uh... And again, now I'm like, all right, I prefer black vinyl. Now I don't even know what I prefer anymore. Like, I obviously didn't want the, the normal one for this one. I wanted this cool Translucent Orange exclusive to independent record stores. So, uh... anyways, super stoked I got this. While I was there, I knew this was there. It was the last copy. I had to swoop it because... I blame the I blame Mike from the Ingroup. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Booyah. He said this is not gonna be in print for much longer because if I understand right, whoever has the analog tapes, they don't get to have them anymore. They gotta give them back. So they can't make any more pressings of this album. So and this one is only $25. It is um mastered by Bernie Grubman, pressed at Powell's Group in Germany. I mean and it's a phenomenal album. I hadn't even listened to this one until just this morning, actually. I was like, what? Let me make sure it just melts. It just makes my ears want to cry that it sounds so good. And it, it, it does. If you have, you're, again, if you already heard this and you're, you're like, dude, duh. But super stoked. So these were like the two must-haves. Uh, I had to get these. So I'm trying to not go to the record store as often. But, like, how are you not going to do that? You know what I mean? Um, so, yes. This episode's going to be short and sweet. I haven't even made... I Because I went to the store. I didn't get to do my coffee routine. So, I'm going to make coffee after this. And um, I was like, should I make coffee? And then drink coffee and talk with you guys? And I, I just was... I know because I really, I really want to hear these. So, I had to show them to you. And, uh, gosh. Let's sit here. Let me get a little detail here on this Dave Brubeck. Time in and see who, uh, it doesn't have the names of the people playing, but it is the Dave Brubeck Quartet, I'm assuming. So, came out in 66. Um, kind of, I like the album cover because it just looks different than most jazz albums, but. That's pretty cool that it's mastered by... Man, Bernie Grubman. It seems like... I want. Uh, I, I usually say Bernie Grubman sometimes when it's Bernie Grubman. Um, I wonder if his, like... He's just super busy more now that records have come back with a venue. Like, he's remastering all this great stuff. I also wondered... Maybe I should do a whole episode on this one. Um, when is, like... Is this the peak of popularity in vinyl? Or is it going to get more popular? Um... I'm fine with either one. If it keeps getting more popular, that's awesome. The one thing I do know that uh, know now that vinyl is more popular, so much new stuff's coming out on vinyl, I can't keep up. It's impossible. I can't afford to keep up, and I don't want to keep up because that's, that's not the way it should be. But if you want to keep up and you can keep up, that's awesome. Uh, there's it, It's crazy how much... Before, they weren't even... It was like, oh, wow, a Red Hot Chili Peppers on vinyl, or you know, just whatever they were putting out that just wasn't... You know, like Electric Ladyland, you know, we, that being reissued a long time ago was a big deal. You know what I mean? But they, they, they weren't. Now it's just a flood of reissuing everything. So it was like this year, almost two Holy Grails, um, Stone Temple Pilots Core. That was on my Holy Grail list for over a decade. And so was Facelift. Both those came out this last year and they weren't too expensive. That's awesome. Well, um, if you cut them on time. So anyways, is this a peak? Ours is going to get more popular. I don't, you know, I have a feeling 
I don't know what feeling I have. I think it's going to still get more popular. And um, we'll see how long it lasts for. Um, the good thing about it being more popular is all, like, I'm pretty sure Facelift would have not gotten pressed or reissued if vinyl wasn't so popular as, as it is now. So that's the good thing about being, you know, there's a bunch of good stuff about it being more popular. And then, like, the downside of it is certain albums are more expensive, like Steely Dan's Asia. That album was, like, worth 50 cents forever. Now it's worth, like, money. It's worth, like, 10 to $20. Uh, yeah, so... It's interesting. Anyways, I could ramble on forever. I'm trying to keep this episode short and sweet. I just got these two records that I'm super excited about. I got to make some coffee. I want to listen to them. Um, that Lonnie Smith I got, I highly recommend. Move your hand. Get that album. Stream it. Get, you're going to want to, you need to get it on. It, it was re-recorded by Rudy Van Gelder. So it was originally at a club. It's a live performance. The, the tone of the damn saxophone on that. The tone of everything, that whole album, just like the way that, that the fact that that's live in a small little club in New Jersey or whatnot blows my mind. The tone is out of this world. All right, guys, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and all that good stuff. And uh, stay positive and play vinyl. Thanks.